Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass from our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19 for the frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times, for those afflicted with the virus and other disease and those who have died, for proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders, for those who sent their private intentions, for the benefactors and friends of the Basilica, and for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Regina Cheli. Queen of heaven, rejoice, alleluia, for he whom you did merit to bear, alleluia, has risen as he said, alleluia. Pray for us to God, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, alleluia, for the Lord is truly risen, alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech thee that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness in life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love, and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died, give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman, pray for us. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, our gospel is giving us to listen to the voice of the Father. We heed His voice and we continue to ask for His presence in our life. 
in a special way, we include our personal intentions and for those who ask for our prayers. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when by your gift we have known it more fully so that those who have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Samuel. The Philippians gathered for an attack on Israel. Israel went out to engage them in battle and camp at Enezar, while the Philippians camped in at Antioch. The Philippians then drew up in battle formation against Israel. After a fierce struggle, Israel was defeated by the Phil Phil Philistines, who slew about 4,000 men on the battlefield. When the troops retired to the camp, the elders of Israel said, Why has the Lord permitted us to be defeated today? by the Philistines. Let us fetch the ark of the Lord from Siloch, that it may go into battle among us and save us from the gods of our enemies. So the people sent to Siloh and brought from there the ark of the Lord of hosts, who is enthroned upon the cherubim. The two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, were with the ark of God. When the ark of the Lord arrived in the camp, all Israel shouted 
to la so loudly that the earth resounded. The Philistines, hearing the no noise of shouting, asked, What can this loud shouting in the camp of the Hebrews mean? On learning that the ark of the Lord had come into the camp, the Philistines were frightened. They said, Gods have come to their camp. They said also, Woe to us! This has never happened before. Woe to us! Who can deliver us from the power of those mighty gods? These are the gods that struck the Egyptians with various flocks and with pestilence. Take courage and be manly, Philistines. Otherwise, you will become slaves to the Hebrews as they were your slaves. So fight manfully. The Philistines fought and Israel was defeated. Every man fled to his own tent. It was a this, disastrous defeat in which Israel lost 30,000 foot soldiers. The Ark of God was captured and Eli's two sons, Hophni and Phinehas, were among the dead. The Word of the Lord. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples, loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and has not let our feet slip. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now all you who fear God while I declare what he has done for me. When I ap appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be God who refused me not, my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not ma that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the man in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so the one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Today's gospel, my dear brothers and sisters, is a continuation of our gospel yesterday. Jesus is telling himself that I am the way, I am the bread of life. And so Jesus is telling us again, I am the bread of life. I am the living bread of life that came down from heaven. But what is important in, in our gospel for today is, it is written, it is written, they shall all be taught by God. Tayo po ay tinuruan ng Diyos. And so, anong sabi niya? Everyone who listens to my father and learns from him comes to me. So, ibig sabihin, as a child, parang yung bata, yung magulang tinuturuan yung bata, yung anak nila, kung ano yung tamang gawin, kung ano yung mabuti, at habang tumatagal sila, makikita nila sa kanilang paglaki na yung tinuturo ng kanilang magulang ay tama para sa kanila. And so if you try to apply it into our lives, ganun din po tayo. That ang tinuturo ng Diyos sa atin ay maging isang mabuting tao na alam niyang sumunod sa mga panuntunan ng Diyos, kung ano yung kagustuhan ng Diyos, and at the same time, lumayo sa, sa kasalanan. Hindi sana tayo gumawa ng kasalanan. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, if we try to listen to the voice of God, we are directed to attain eternal life. We can achieve salvation, eternal salvation. Pero ang problema kasi sa atin ngayon, ang dami nating pinapakinggan. Hindi na natin alam kung sino yung pakikinggan natin. But Jesus is telling us, we need to listen to God. My dear brothers and sisters, we need to follow the Lord. Maging isang mabuting tao tayo. Hindi lang kailangan natin gawin ito sa salita, sa gawa, sa ating pagkatao. Hindi sana tayo natitinag ng ibang tinig na nag-i-invite sa atin to, to commit mistakes, to commit evil things. Alam naman natin kung ano yung tama, alam naman natin kung ano yung mali. We can assess kasi meron na tayong isip. To, to decide, to choose whether we do it or not. Meron tayong konsensya and that is the voice of God within us, the conscience. Kung konsensya yung pinapairal natin, ibig sabihin, makikita kung sino tayo. Mararamdaman natin na tayo talagang alagad ng Diyos. Na tayo sumusunod sa kagustuhan ng Diyos. Pero, kung hindi natin pinapairal ang ating konsensya, kung tinatangay lang tayo sa Agos, kung sumusunod lang tayo sa Agos, wala po tayong pinagkaiba sa mga taong gumagawa ng kasalanan. Are we listening to the voice of God? I don't think so. Because you are not applying, you are not using your conscience. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, this is the perfect time for us to apply, to use our conscience, to choose what is right and to avoid what is evil. And so, we try to listen to the voice of God. Ano kaya yung sinasabi ng Diyos sa akin? Ano kaya yung gusto niyang iparating sa akin? Ano kaya yung dapat kong gawin. If we truly accept Christ in our life, if we are truly promised, truly with our promises in, baptismal, in our baptism, to reject sin, to believe in God, to believe in the church, 
then masasabi natin, we are using the right conscience. We are hearing the words of God in our life. And so, as we accept Christ in the living bread, the body of Christ, we accept Him as our Lord. And we need to follow and listen to His voice. Pairalin natin kung ano ang tama. Ituwid natin kung ano yung mali. Panindigan natin kung ano ang katotohanan. Kasi yan ang pinakita sa atin ng Diyos. Yan yung kailangan nating gawin kung totoo tayong kristyano. Kung masasabi natin tayo ay isang kristyano na may paninindigan, hindi na bibili, hindi na, na, na natitinag sa anuman, hindi na titinag sa pera, hindi na titinag sa power, kundi kung tayo ay may paninindigan, kung meron tayong konsensya, pag naririnig natin ang boses ng Diyos, matuto tayong tumayo sa ating sarili at sundan ang salita ng Diyos at kung anuman ang gustong ipahiwatig sa atin ng Diyos. Let us stand for the truth. Let us attain eternal life and we can choose that if we want to follow Christ because Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the living bread that can satisfy our hunger, that can satisfy our thirst because Christ will give us satisfaction in life as long as we will use our right conscience in life. Amen. Please stand. We turn now in prayer to God the Father, who from the generosity of His heart has sent His Son, Jesus, the bread of life. In every petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the people of God, nourished by the Eucharist, may unite to persevere in lives of faith and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the worthy reception of the Eucharist, we may deepen our love for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may not fail to share our earthly bread with those in need and so become like the self-giving Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are sick in mind and body may be strengthened by receiving the body and blood of Christ in the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the dead may share in the Lord's promised heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, guide us in our journey and help us to walk in the path of your Son, Jesus, who is the bread of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effect, effected in this sacrifice, have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead. Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is a sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Ricardo our Bishop and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all you have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints you have preached throughout the ages, we may merit to be our eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us now pray the act of his spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those who have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. Prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. For every petition, let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray all together. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. St. Dominic de Guzman, pray for us. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Let us now pray the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with your burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment. While I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious ones, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat. I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Deign, O dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for our body and soul particularly. And the special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.